Hi, I'm Liz Bramwell from Rustic Kitchen Boston, home of The Cooking Show. Each week I host a live cooking show in our unique broadcast kitchen studio, right here inside the restaurant. Here's a peek at our last show, it's called The Small Bite. Risotto is still cooking. I have these two kids right here. Let's address them. How can you tell the difference between a male and female lobster? Anyone? The female complains more often. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a cheer smile for Robert. I'm going to say this once, he's the one honest guy in the room at this point in time. Cheers. <laughs> I did too. I had a class this morning. There are two ways to tell the difference between a male and female lobster, right? First is by flipping the, the easiest way, is by flipping the lobster over and checking the top set of swimmer racks, all right? Jim, can you get close? All right, so all these little feathery boogers in here are called swimmer racks, right? So if you can tell, right here, see these two little small soft ones? That's a female. See these two big, or hard ones, that's the male. <laughs> All right, second way to tell a lobster between male and female is the female has a wider tail where the tail meets the abdomen. In other words, the female has a bigger butt. That's the best way of always. It's for holding eggs. So she's a lot wider in the hip region. Same reason why we're wider in the hip region. But you'd have to have a couple side by side. Yes. They'd have to be like almost the same way and they'd have to be side by side for you to make a comparison. Otherwise, if you just want to pick one male or female, it's much easier to just say, you know, I'm not going to go into that description. So Liz, did you have any trouble ripping them apart when they were still alive? No. No, I let go of that a long time ago. That was, that was my question. <laughs> you want me to do a demo? <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see how you do that. Has to be more than 50% of the group who wants a demo. Why not? We like the show Sopranos, we like this. <laughs> okay, don't feel bad. They were put on this planet for human consumption. Okay, so first of all, um, this is Ned. I'm just kidding, I would never, no, you don't name something that you're going to take care of. All right, so very quickly, hold on to the abdomen, twist the tail. Okay. So the tail is just going to kind of, you know, it will move and seize for a little while. And same thing with the claws. They, they don't feel pain. They don't feel pain. They don't feel pain. I believe my uncle, who was the number one seafood purveyor in Boston for over 20 years, if he tells me they don't feel a thing, and he's waving. Okay. He's like, I don't hurt seeds. I'm not doing that. It's the best part of the animal right here. Um, I, b I believe him when he, I mean, they did, like, they, like I said, they don't really have a central nervous system. I know how to find them. I know how to buy them. I know how to slaughter them. I know how to cook them. And then I know how to serve them to you. That's as far as it goes. Talk about a lobster, right? Yes. Not any significant Yes, Larry. Only lobster.